So on this one, and this will be equal to, now put the value of, for u, you will have to put the value, because this is the d cos theta prime. So for u first, you will put 0, and then you will put minus 1. So by putting this value, we will have 1 over a axis here, and then you will have to put 1 over x square plus a square and square root because u is equal to 0 minus 1 over 1 over what this will become x square plus a square minus 2 a x and u is minus 1 so it will become plus 1 so x square plus a square plus 2ax, it is x plus a whole square and square root is there as well. So only x plus a will remain. Right? And similarly, I can write for means we will solve for this one as well this. So here we will have to solve with the limits here because this integral will also be like that one and I can write that from 0 to 1 d cos theta prime and all that one is equal to 1 over ax and now I will have to put 1 here so what it will be? x square plus a square minus 2ax, it will be x minus a whole square, and with square root, the square will be gone. So this will be 1 over x minus a. Right? And minus 1 over, for this I will put 0, so this will be x square plus a square inside a square root x square plus a square inside a square root. Got it? So we have put the limits. We saw the general integral because this integral was similar to both of them. Then we saw the integral and when the integral was solved, the next point was to put the limits in it. So we put the limits and we got these two results. Now this one, we will have to put it its place from minus 1 to 0. It will come here. And this one will come here. But d phi is yet remaining. So we will have to solve that one as well. Now, here d phi prime will give you 2 pi and here it will give you 2 pi. So it is just 2 pi multiplication and nothing more there. So I can write the phi of x is equal to, now put the values, a x square minus a square, a into x square minus a square divided by 4 pi and then 2 pi because from the d phi prime we are getting 2 pi and we here and we there so we can take v is common and then I can write that 1 over ax is here, 1 over ax is here. So 1 over ax we can take as common. So this will be 1 over ax and then, and then look here. We are having minus value for this one and plus value for this one. So this minus this. Now look here. 1 over x minus a minus this one minus this one minus this one so this will become plus 
first do this one this minus this so this is minus and this one become minus it will become minus 2 by x square plus a square so I got minus 2 x square plus a square then this one 1 over x minus a plus 1 over x plus a so you can simplify this one or you can write directly if you want so plus 1 over x plus a plus 1 over x minus a right 1 over x minus a is plus and this one is also plus 1 over x plus this so we have reached one of the solution here and what we did actually we simplified our geometry and we just moved our observation point to this axis we haven't gone means out of the axis here so from where we can go out of the axis now I am so we simplified our geometry by moving <coughs> our observation point to the to the z axis right and now if I want to move this observation point beyond the z axis means any point here and I want to measure the potential how I can move I can move around these hemispheres or inside these hemispheres if I change gamma because gamma is the angle which is dependent on theta and phi so I can change this one you look here that earlier we solved this integral but here we did one thing which was you can say the cos gamma we moved to cos theta prime because we consider our point on the z-axis now when our point will not be on the z-axis it means cos gamma will not be equal to cos theta prime but it will be equal to the whole expression right now this whole expression when cos gamma here is having 3 by 2 power so it means this whole is having power 3 by 2 and now we will have to take the situation that when it will be having power 3 by 2 okay when it will be having power 3 by 2 okay even if I skip this 1 over 2 here and I only take 3 here then what this will be because you know that the the expansion of this one again we will do some approximations on this one to calculate this one because it is yet very hard to calculate this whole you can say power 3 by 2 so what I do that what will be for example cause okay similarly similarly cause cube gamma is equal to just write all this sine theta sine theta prime and cause phi minus phi prime plus cos theta cos theta prime and whole cube if I calculate cos cube then this is equal to this one so what this will be equal to okay, what this will be equal to I can explain this one you know about the relation that a plus b 
whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube or if I write is this one is having a minus here so whatever you write a if I write a minus b cube then this is a cube minus b cube minus 3 a square b and a minus b this is the expansion of a minus b just replace this one with plus then you will have plus here you will have plus here and you will have plus here all the signs will change so if I explain this one what this will be this whole cube plus this cube and plus three times the square of the first and then the second and then a minus b so I can write that this one is equal to I'm writing this one first 3 and a square so a square is sine square theta sine square theta prime and cos square pi minus pi prime and plus this will be multiplied with b so b is cos theta cos theta prime and plus plus this one will be q so i can write that cos cube theta cos cube theta prime and plus plus what i did i focused on this term means only this term and then if you multiply this one 3 a square b and then this will become a cube okay and then the next one is b cube so i have written this b cube what will be the next term the next term will be the next term will be a cube so this and this cube right this and this cube and then from the multiplication of this one with this one so again sine and cos will come in multiplication and you know that when sine and cos comes in because it is having this term as well plus terms odd in cos phi minus phi prime and which integrate to zero okay. only these terms are surviving under the integration the other are actually the sine and cos the cube terms then they will be the odd and even and under integration they will go to zero so only these terms will survive and now I will write these terms that this one is equal to if I write now the integral and I write this one is from 0 to 2 pi d phi prime and integral d cos theta prime and cos cube of gamma this one is equal to means this one will be equal to 3 cos cube gamma d cos theta this one will give you just 2 pi and this is equal to okay so you recheck it don't you can say bother for this thing just check it because I have better 
sine squared, this one squared, so it will become 3a squared. So a is this one. Yes, right. This one is right. I have written this is right. And b with this one. Clear? So 3a squared b. This is 3a squared b. So then this one is right. Okay. Now, from here, 